Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this video here, we're traveling through Wisconsin. We're leaving Superior here and uh, gonna take the shoreline all the way around down through Ashland and then cut on over to Ironwood, Michigan. All this was filmed in the month of August. Sit back, enjoy the ride, and the journey starts right now. What's the old saying, chasing 70? Well, I'll do that. How about 70 or 80 degrees? I'll do that too. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take a cool little trip. This is Highway 2, we're heading east. We're gonna pick up uh, what they call a Wisconsin Scenic Byway. It's Highway 13. And it's going to run us up along the northern shore of uh, Wisconsin here. Should be some cool towns to go through, some beaches. Who knows what we're going to find up here. Well, I'm all stocked up with food, fuel. So right up the road here should be uh, our turnoff big rest area right here off to the right. Little overcast. I don't think we'll get rained on. Uh, when I watch the weather last night, it's all over the place. <laughs> you know, Great Lakes is just like being on the ocean. Okay, here we go. Our exit's coming up. Gonna shoot for going clear to Bayfield. Gonna go to Sand Bay for sure. Then there are some little towns along the way. Uh, this, we'll see what we get into. But this is uh, considered a Wisconsin Scenic Byway. Okay, here we go. Highway 13. Here's our exit. Make a left here. I seen a sign back there that said Lake Superior Circle Tour 2, so... Yay. Now you can see the clouds, sun's coming up. Hopefully we hit blue sky soon. Okay, right up here, our first little stop, it's supposed to be a log cabin and a windmill. Some old buildings that have been saved through the years. That'll be our first stop. I just seen a sign for him. Should be one of these roads up here. Here we go. Oh, I see him right there. First stop, back road, small towns. Never know what we're gonna find. Oh wow, look at that. Now on the maps it showed that was a big windmill. Looks like they're restoring it. Very cool. Saving history. Yeah, that thing's being remodeled. Very good. There's some old buildings here. We'll walk around. It's supposed to be a bridge. No 
Northern Pacific Blueberry Depot. Brief history about our exhibit. These buildings are probably moved here. Looks like everything dates back into the late 1800s, early 1900s. That print's pretty small to read, but hey, it's here. Here's that old bridge. Now that's an old timer. Big old thick wood beams, planks, whatever you call them. No wonder it's lasted this long. Here you go, that's when it was really setting on a road. Imagine all the cars and trucks. Taylor's Bridge, Wisconsin's last Queen Post Bridge. They probably look like they moved it here. But it's still standing. Looks in pretty good shape. Looks like it could still handle cars, huh? Wow. That's neat. School in house. Dates back to like 1900. Different families owned and lived here. Wow. And it's been reconstructed. How cool. Saving history. What's the old saying? If these walls could talk. Cool little stop, first one of the day. Everything nice and green. Ooh, what's this building? See another sign. The family sauna. Huh. There you go, especially in the winter around here, it's frigid. I'll be darned. Well, we got some miles to do yet. From where we were at Superior up to that Sam Bay, it's about 80 miles, and all the way to Bayfield, it's over 100. Still not bad. We got all day to do it in. Well, if you get a chance, you're running around out here in this uh, Wisconsin Highway 13 Scenic Byway. Stop, check them out. Hopefully that uh, windmill, they'll have that done. All right, load up. We're hitting the road. See patches of blue sky, it might clear on us. Doesn't really seem like it'll rain. This is the old Highway 13 right here. Quite a few cars. It's probably all going to work in Superior. We're going to go do a little sightseeing. We want to see Lake Superior 
in cooler weather the heat is on across the country that's for sure up here this is probably hot for this area to me it's cool <laughs> Roads kind of tore up in patches. Looks like they're doing some serious road work. I'm sure they have a small window to get their road construction completed. Winters are long up here. You know what's cool too? You see a lot of snowmobile trails and markings and stuff. Here you go, they're really working it. Maybe they're adding drainage? I'd say so. Pretty serious construction. Well, this is probably the main road for a lot of these little towns. Traffic's pretty light. A few trucks, a couple cars. It's really tree lined, it's hard to see anything off to the sides. Here's an intersection. We go left, stay on 13. Yep. Should be getting closer to the lake. A few miles up here yet. There, that's what it looks like off to the side. Those forests are just thick. They must replant trees here. After they forest. Chop them down. You'd get lost in there, couldn't you? There's supposed to be a overlook pull out up here. As soon as I find it, we'll stop, take a break for a little bit. Skies are starting to clear up. Hey, 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 how's this? <laughs> Perfect. Take a break for a little bit. And there's Mighty Lake Superior. August and still got flowers. Probably September. It's weather changes pretty quick. Van's doing good. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to brew up a cup of coffee and sit here for a while. Let the sun come up a little more. And just enjoy this uh, view and quiet. And a handy thing to carry, bug spray. Mosquitoes and bugs are thick up here. I always have a couple cans in the van. The cool thing is my little coffee maker. This is a single cup Black & Decker coffee maker. It runs off my uh, solar battery. 
right there. Just have it plugged in. And I can make a cup of coffee anytime I want. And I really enjoy coffee on the road. And it's starting to brew now. switch around a lot. This is Folgers Gourmet Supreme. Kind of a medium dark. Sure smells good when that's brewing though. One of the little perks. You know people ask me what I do for food and drinks and all that. This is basically it. Right here in the van I cook and make most of my own stuff. Well, uh, that cup of Joe's brewing. Let's check out the lake, Mighty Lake Superior. Doesn't it look like the ocean? Well, they are many oceans, my opinion anyway. There's a good look. That's what how tree lined these roads are. So you don't see much when you're driving down through there. Some of that haze is from all the wildfire smoke out of Canada. Hard to believe we're up here, but we are. Northern Wisconsin. Oh, cool. Didn't even notice this. Here's a map. This is what we're traveling. Lake Superior Scenic Byway. Quite a few stops. Looks like we got Port Wayne, Herbster, another town, Cornucopia. We're going to end up up there by that number seven. What a cool little stop. Sure is peaceful here. But we got miles to do. Let's keep on rolling. There's a good look of where we were. One thing about Wisconsin, they got a lot of places you can pull off the road. The lake is right there through those trees. See a lot of little cabins, homes. What a place to live, huh? There you can see it through the trees a little bit. Those are nice looking homes back down in there. And I think we're coming upon our first little town, Port Wing. I'll have to check her out, huh? 
because there really hasn't been months since we turned off uh, Highway 2 back there, getting on uh, the scenic byway. Been all like open land, farms and all that. So welcome to Port Wing. Ooh, I see a campground off to the right. Oh, cool. Little park here. Let's stop. We have seen so many flowers this summer. Just colorful, perfect. Little towns are just full of them, huh? Heritage Hall. This looks like a little historic museum and library. <laughs> That's what the sign said. 125 years. Wow. Wisconsin history right here in Port Wing. It's a big old pine there. Put some little buildings out back. It's not open, but we'll peek through the windows. There's the old jailhouse. Don't break the law here. Jail was built 1800s, late 1800s. A policeman back then was paid $45 a month. He said lumberjacks used to be pretty uh, rough working up here. Small town history. I like them old wood barrels. That sign also said those walls are two inch thick solid wood. So they couldn't break out of it. This building was a fishery office. Well, cool. Well, walk around the park. Looks like a fire department there. Small towns, they all have a bell, don't they? They probably have their yearly functions down here and ceremonies. This has that small town feel. A little playground for the kiddos. Kind of a perfect little like Mayberry, huh? <laughs> and of course, flagpole. like a veterans memorial there. I don't know what these wagons are up here. Wagon is all closed in. What's this? Port Wing Brownstone. Like remnants from an old building. Oh, 
Oh, I just, look at that, a school bus. Horse-drawn school bus. Replica. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty cool. More information about schools back in. Look at that teacher. $40 per month. Principal is 70 bucks. So you know how you tell your uh, kids and grandkids, hey, I went to school in the snow. <laughs> Barefoot, uphill. You can say, I rode in that wagon. My goodness. No windows or anything in that thing. <laughs> but them kids had fun riding in that. That one's like a sled for the snow. Well, always learning something. Smokey Bear says low fire danger today. All right, well, they we say we'll head on down the road. Check the maps. There's that campground across the street. We're probably a good quarter mile in from the lake. A lot of rigs over there. You know, if you're stuck down south, want to get cool in the summer, this would be a good place to come to. Fort Wing, Wisconsin. All right, let's get trucking. There's the rear view cam all set up. That's a magnetic mount that holds the camera. Then also I got the front cam. Also with a magnetic mount. on Highway 13. Been a really good trip so far. Very scenic. Especially once we got up near the lake after about the first, what, 20 miles. And I checked the phone back there on the maps. Looks like we got another little town coming up pretty quick with a campground that's right on the lake. Here it is here. Welcome to Herbster, Wisconsin. Looks like we can cut down near the water. We'll find that campground too. Here we are. Little store there. Here's our street to the left. I'm cheating, I got it on uh, Google Maps. Like, I really knew where everything was here. I see the mighty Lake Superior. Yay, made it. And campground to the right. I see a little park to the left. Let's check. The beach first, I won't drive through the campground. Nice and calm. 
good weather. Not a bunch of wind. Little community park. And flowers. Gotta love it. So this is what it's like in Herbster, Wisconsin. Just sit on the bench, listen to the waves crash on the shore. Morning. Ride your bicycle. Grab a fishing pole, maybe, huh? Catch dinner. Peaceful. It'd be pretty tough living here. Except in the winter. Of course, you could ice fish. <laughs> There's islands up here somewhere. I think a little farther up the road. Apostle Island? I remember seeing it on the map. Okay, let's go uh, sneak around this campground. I'm just going to drive through every seat in the beach here. Really good reviews online for this place. I see some tent campers. What a perfect place to tent camp. Oh, that fire smells good, too. Nothing like a good campfire, huh? So it looks like tents on the beach, and over here is your RVs. Wow, they got hookups here. Cool. I'm going to camp up at Bayfield tonight. I wanted to get farther than just here. I've seen this online though. But what a perfect little campground and a perfect little town, Herbster, Wisconsin. Always fun to look back and where you've been. <laughs> really enjoying this rear view cam. Gives a little better perspective. Okay, we'll cut back up. Pick up uh, Highway 13 again. East. We got more to see. Right now it's right around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We left Superior early, as usual. I'm always on the road early. So far we're getting a little more blue sky, which is good. It is heating up actually, it's getting kind of warm. Which is good too.
right up the road here, not too far, will be another little town. They even got a marina there. Should see uh, some boats and stuff. Let's check her out. Okay, looks like we're getting into the town of Cornucopia. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Looks like they got a marina, beach, shipwrecks. This ought to be a fun stop. Wow, pretty good size marina right there to the left. There should be a little parking area right up here. Well, here you go. Found a boat for sale. Slightly used. Wow. Actually, that's pretty intact. Probably sat in the water a long time. We got a few of them in here. Old fishing boats. Bringing home the catch. There's pictures of them when they were still uh, in use. Wow. Can you imagine the amount of weather Snow, ice, everything that happens here. Well, let's check out the marina. Take a walk, get out of that van for a little while. Bounty from the land. Fishing history back forever here. Talking about beaver and how this was over forested. They came in and knocked all the trees down. This must be their museum, which is not open. I already looked. Wow, that's a huge crane. Life of a fisherman. That one's all enclosed. Cindy Marie. Birthed right out of here. That is one nice sailboat for sale. All boats are for sale. <laughs> That's a big one there. That would handle some wa rough water. This must be like little stores. Wow, look at the two out drives on that. Two big engines. That's a clean looking boat. And there's the minnow out for a three hour tour. <laughs> Gilligan's Island, huh? Yeah, they got really nice sailboats here. No bridges to go under, so. Pretty cool. There's 
the entrance into the harbor. Got a wall, metal wall, break the waves. Yeah, that is one big crane. Let's pick up a boat and set her right in the water. Well, we'll mosey back towards the van. I had boats for years and RVs are bad enough. These are the, like little gift shops. Pottery, antiques. What a view there. There you can see their little harbor, all protected. When bad storms hit. I've always heard and read that those thunderstorms that come off these lakes are really intense. Northern Wisconsin, definitely a place to come visit. A little bit of everything here. See what else we can find. We're we're having a pretty good day here, finding all kinds of places to snoop around. I didn't see any camping in here. I'm sure there's something around here. It has to be. I look all look like day use. Well, I had to stop. I only went like an eighth of a mile. This parking lot was sitting here. Got a big storyboard. A big tragedy, Native American history. Wow. Long time ago, huh? There's a boat going into that harbor. Been out fishing, I bet. Perfect place to walk your dog. Even got a picnic table out here. Okay. I just had to stop when I seen that storyboard. That we need to check that. little picnic area right here next to that harbor. Well, let's see what else we can find. We're going to head up towards that sand bay. 
which is a little ways off uh, Highway 13 here. Well, I just turned around. I drove, went rifling right past this. This is called Myers Beach. We got to check this. It said Apostle Islands and Myers Beach. Yeah, I went winging past here like 50, 60 miles an hour. Parking area here, it said fee base, but guess what? I got my uh, lifetime card for national parks in all these places like this. Wow, look at all the kayaks. Goodness. Okay, well, let's do this. I need a big parking area. I'll just park out front. I'm not hauling a trailer, so I can just park here and walk. I need the exercise anyway. Let's check this place out. National Shoreline. But see, my uh, lifetime pass gets me in all these places. I always get asked a lot. It costs... Uh, Oh, a few years ago I had to pay $80. When you're a senior, you can get one of these cards. And that will get you in not only national parks, anything like this, where there's fees. You also get discounts on camping as well. well this is Kayak Central. Look at all these kayaks. I see your rent a kayak and they take you out and you can go and see the m mainland sea caves well I'm not gonna run a kayak but I can walk down to the beach we say we do that Got what weather board? Let you know how the waves are doing. Winds, all that. Yeah, you don't want to get caught out there with a the kayak. Look at that. One of those uh, ranger people said that it's almost a three-mile hike in the sand. So you can hike out. I. I'm not going to do that, but we can walk down the beach and see what we can find. Yeah, look at all them people. They're learning how to go out in that kayak. Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's head on down. Well, looks like a pretty good view. That Apostle Island is supposed to be out here somewhere. Very thick sand. Okay. Here you go. Here's Mighty Lake Superior. That water is crystal clear. So I think those sea caves were the other direction. Way out there somewhere. Out at the end, there, there they are. That would be quite a hike.
look at this driftwood. Wonder how long it's been laying here. People would love to have that in their yard for artwork and all that, huh? Mother Nature and Lake Superior sculpture right there. Pretty cool. All right, well, th this was worth a stop, I think. Be quite a little adventure to load in a kayak and head all the way up there. berries in here on those bushes. Everything can grow good here. Lots of uh, water and moisture. Alright, I'd want one with a motor on it. <laughs> I don't know about them oars, but yeah, maybe a motor. <laughs> Well, carrying them down is one thing, carrying that thing back up would be another. See quite a few companies that uh, rent those things. There goes one there. Probably guided, got guides on the kayaks and everything. Well, good. Glad I turned around for that one. Not too much farther up the road. We're going to go up that sand bay. It's supposed to be a really nice campground up there. That's a few miles up off of uh, Highway 13 here. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. And also, you can get free screensaver downloads all you gotta do is enter your email and sign up for it we put out a newsletter on the 5th and 20th each month now also I got merch merch store if you're interested coffee mugs t-shirts hats all kinds of goodies coloring books cookbooks put out a cookbook about instapot cooking be sure to check it out and all of that helps support future travels and videos just like this one. Okay, we need to make a left here. We need to cut up a few miles. Looks like about eight, nine miles up to Sand Bay, Wisconsin. So far, the roads, we hit that construction way early this morning. Roads have been good. Looks like a few farms up through here. Well, should be up to Sand Bay before we know it. And we need to make a left here. When we leave, we're going to go straight. That'll take us down to Bayview. Okay, make a left. And Lake Superior and Sand Bay should be right up the road here. Very interesting trip on this Wisconsin Scenic Byway. When I looked at it in the maps, I wasn't sure. 
planning it, but it's been, uh, this one to remember. This campground up here had high reviews, almost all of them up through here. Why not? If you want to beat the heat, this is where you want to come to. Yay, there's the sign, Apostle Islands and Sand Bay. Campground's called Little Sand Bay Campground. I'm sure there's vast history here. Can you imagine back in the day when people used to come up here when there wasn't no paved roads, probably all dirt roads. And looks like we made it. There's the camp. Wow, that is a big campground. Holy moly. And it looks like a parking lot. Okay. And a big park. All right. We say let's take a little walk. See quite a few tent campers. They can camp right in here. Boat grant fees. And a marina. We are way up top of Wisconsin, way up. Wisconsin's Maritime Trails, Historic Shipwrecks. Wow. I read somewhere it's like 10,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. Maybe that was right. They've only found a few. Another weather board. We well, even in a small motorized boat. You get out in these lakes, the winds pick up. Pretty good white caps and rough, uh, rough water. Of course, you're from this area, you're probably used to it. A couple nice boats there. That's not Coast Guard, that's what? U.S. Uh, Forest Service, or government boat anyway. Wow, look at the size of them rocks. Whew. This thing ain't going anywhere. It is anchored. Metal with all that rock. Really protects this little harbor and marina though. Yay, we made it to the end out here at Sand Bay. What a pretty place. Oh, look at that crew of feathered bums. Look at them. <laughs> They're just hanging around for something to eat. Isn't that funny? So you got the harbor and a campground. Pretty much that's it out here. They probably got boats that run out to that island. There's several islands out through here. There's one of them.
this sign is kind of toasted. Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. Yeah, they got to have boats that run out there. Yeah, look at the size of that campground. That's a good size. And they got hookups. There's power. Power and water here. Well, we'll drive up to this end, see if we missed anything. Like a small little gift shop, sells bait and stuff off to the right. And this looks like a parking lot. I'd say we're at the end of it. Probably one popular place. I didn't check online. I didn't try to book a site up here. I, I should have. I wouldn't mind spending a night up here. That's okay. Gonna be heading down to Bayfield. But yeah, I'd I'd come back and camp at this one. Bunch of tent campers right there. Bet fall colors up here are just beautiful too. Gotta be. We're heading down to Bayfield. We're gonna connect back up with Highway 13 which is a scenic byway around Wisconsin and also called the Lake Superior Circle. What a gorgeous drive so far. We have seen so much since we left Superior, Wisconsin. You talk about back road small towns, we're seeing that here. Speaking of the lake, there it is. This is a little uh, town called Red Cliff. It's also an uh, Indian reservation here. We only have a few more miles. We'll be right in Bayfield. Welcome to Bayfield, Wisconsin. There's a marine museum down here I want to find, plus a big harbor. Thought we'd check those out. Then also I'm spending the night here, Apostle Islands RV Park. Right now it's getting close to two in the afternoon. So I figured we'd do a little sightseeing and I'll head out to the park and then tomorrow we're gonna head down to Ashland. Wisconsin and keep on trucking okay according to the maps if I would have went right there at the street that's uh, the main road I got the phone Google phones going here and it said straight wow look at all the cars this town is packed full people in the streets busy time of year I mean this is the place you want to beat the heat 
get up here in northern Wisconsin. There it is, the big building on the right. Looks like it's open. Cool. Well, we say we'll check out their museum, then maybe walk over the harbor, then we'll go find that RV park. humid. At least we got blue skies. It was cloudy earlier this morning. Wow, that's a nice water feature. That is some pretty cool art. Looks like an anchor, huh? Got us a storyboard. A turning point in place and time. Wow, this place goes way back. Been a fishing town, harbor, boating for centuries here. Look at all them boats. We'll walk over there. Let's go in the museum first. views on this online are really good. Kind of hard to read. Maritime trails. We seen one of those back up there. Where is it? Sand Bay. You can scuba dive. Go out and find shipwrecks. All kinds of cool stuff. Bayfield Maritime Museum. Looks like they got a little replica steerage boathouse. Pilot house, that's what I was looking for. Ship's pilot house. Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's go on in. Rafting. It's free to get come in. They have a donation bucket if you want to put something in there. Life on Lake Superior and the Great Lakes. So many memories, huh? But every kind of fishing boat you could think of. Oh, man. Got the nets out. It's just a way of life. People don't think about this stuff. I don't, living in Arizona in the desert. There's some old, old boats in here. All wood. I think it must weigh up tons. A little engine in there, huh? <laughs> Three knots an hour. Pretty cool. You know, it's not very big in here, but they got a lot of history packed in here. Looks like older engines that they used to use. 1910, wow. Light keepers tenders. echo in here is cool. <laughs> you can hear every word said, almost. <laughs> Rocker 
Rocky Island Skiff. Well, forget them oars. I want one of the motor. <laughs> yeah, a lot of local history in here. Trawler's home. South Twin Island. Cabins, resorts. I'll be darned. Chippewa Arnold Line, old ferries, huh? Some of the old time maps. They were really accurate back in the day, huh? And they map these areas out. Even those old maps that date back in what, 1500s, 1600s? Pretty amazing. Now it's on your phone. Wow, that thing, it's seen its day. Look at that prop. My goodness. Maybe that's a shipwreck that they salvaged, huh? Josephine Addison. Huh. Yeah, that had to come up. That had to be a wreck. Harvesting ice, wow. Heck yeah. Mother Nature freezer right here. That had to be cold. Go and cut chunks of ice and you sell it. Big old handsaw for cutting ice. Look at that harbor. Them boats are frozen to the lake. <laughs> Get the dog sled out. <laughs> oh, man. Or just drive your car out there. Airboat, there you go, that's a good idea. There's a question for you. Now, would you drive your car across the frozen Great Lakes? Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron. <laughs> They've been doing it forever, it's got to be safe. Look at that ice road. Ice, fishing, everything. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't move your house out there in the spring. Better do it in the winter. My goodness. Go out and sink your house in the lake. You know, that boat with a sail, of course this might be a replica. That moved pretty quick through the water. And some of the lighthouse lights. Seeing the light. Unsung heroes, the lights. You never hear about the boats they saved, just the ones that wreck. Pretty cool little museum. There's a lot in here. A lot of it's local stuff, but still very interesting.
And more lighthouses. Oh, cool. There's like a little 3D map. This area with the lighthouses. Also shipwrecks that they know of. Who knows how many went down? Well, pretty darn cool. You can see it's not super big. Free. Definitely worth it. Come in here. Get a chance. Come on in. And the Edmund Fitzgerald. We see that in almost all the museums up here. That song sure made that famous. Well, what do you say? Let's walk over to the harbor. I had to show you those doors. Those things still work. They are thick and on those rollers. That's how they close her up, I guess, in the winter. It's probably a, what? Like a boat repair place maybe. Looks like over here we got the Coast Guard. Sure do. Out here keeping everyone safe. I imagine they're busy when the storms kick up here. I'd like to be stationed here. Be all right till the winter. <laughs> all this breeze is over. I still have that picture in my head of all those boats frozen into the water at that harbor inside that museum. Nice little fishing dock here. Want to walk on water? Here you go. What a pretty area. Big trees. Nice little park here too. Day use. goes a ferry heading out out to the islands got cars and people on it yeah I look price put the van on one of those because it's so long it cost a fortune cars aren't so bad Very nice little park here. Well, what do you say? Want to go look at some boats? Probably see a lot of for sale signs. 
you own a boat, put a for sale sign on it. This one's dry docked right in the parking lot. Pretty tall with a big mask on it and everything, huh? But the winds, they really crank up here in the Great Lakes. Perfect sailing. But this is more my type of boat. Has an engine, set of keys, all that sailing stuff. A lot of work. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. Probably private charters. People making money, haul people out, fish, sightsee. Like the name of that one, Beach House. Boat like that's probably, oh, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars at least. Flowers on the harbor. Well, they definitely get watered here. Lake's pretty calm. We got a little bit of a wind, but not too bad. It's not cheap to berth a boat in a marina. A lot of these guys probably pull them out in the winter, but years ago when I was boating, it wasn't cheap back then. Look at this one, half time. All right, twin engine gas guzzler. Gilligan's boat. We'll go out and take a three hour tour to an island. That is a very nice boat. Actually, they class that probably as a yacht. Well, let's walk out to the end here. Here's the harbor, and there's Bayfield, small town, old buildings. We'll drive through downtown when we leave. Small town USA right here. Another ferry going out. Looks like he's turning. They haul a lot of people, a lot of cars. Yeah, for a vehicle like my van, it's close to a hundred bucks to go on one of them or more. because of the length of it. Here's one coming in. It's got a, quite a few cars.
He looks pretty empty. That's cost him money. I see a couple cars. That fairy's name Madeline. Boat lift, they pick you up, stick you right in the water. Almost have to with the uh, type of weather and the banks. That's how you launch your boat here. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. I'm putting one out twice a month now, right around the 5th and 20th of the month. Two newsletters a month. They're free. Also on the website, there's a place you can sign up for free screensaver downloads for your computer. And I have a merch store, hats, t-shirts, coffee cups, if you're interested in any of that stuff sure appreciate it. It helps support the channel and this kind of travel. All right, to the van we go. Well, we'll drive through downtown Bayfield. That RV park. I was lucky. This, all, everything around here is sold out. Half the U.S. is coming up here to get out of the heat. There you go. That guy had to wait on him. So we'll go up two blocks. Pick back up on Highway 13. Very old homes. Don't you love the balcony up there? Probably a lot of rentals here, Airbnbs, apartments. Okay, this is the way we came in. We came in from uh, Straight ahead there. We're gonna make a left. This should cut us through downtown. Cool old brick buildings. Stand in the test of time. There's Andy's Market right there on the right. And we're kind of out of it. Yeah, Bayfield's not that big, is it? Big trees. I bet fall colors here are absolutely gorgeous. Then you gotta rake up all the leaves. There's a house with a view. Cool.
There's the lake again. Doesn't that look like the ocean, though? These great lakes. Massive body of water. All the way across, what, what is that? That'd be, what, Canada? Okay, here's our road here. I found this uh, campground online mm -hmm. and they had one site left. Probably a cancellation. So I booked it. Kind of nestled back in here a little bit. Really good reviews on the place. I just booked one night. Lots of driving today. We'd seen a lot from Superior, Wisconsin, all the way to Bayfield. This looks like where I check in. Check it out. We're leaving this Apostle Island campground. We're just outside of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Gonna head down to Ashland and it's early morning. Nice little campground. Can't complain. Very busy. This is a busy time of year. August, but it cooled down last night. Daytime gets up a little bit, but nighttime it still cools off. Plus, we're right on Lake Superior. Yay! Anyway, we're going to head down to Ashland, pick up uh, Highway 13 up here. I start out just a little extra early this morning you're gonna find out why we're gonna to go to downtown Ashland it's supposed to be extremely historic I drove through there a couple years ago but we're really gonna take a look at it this morning Sun's coming up, yay! The lake's off to the left. Camera's not picking it up, plus the tree lines. We'll stop up here, plus we're gonna go through a little town called Washburn. There's an old bank building I seen uh, online when I was mapping everything out last night. Looked kinda cool. Summer's almost going away though. Labor Day's right around the corner. My goodness. But what a hot one across the country. It's just been a cooker this summer. One of the best places you could ever want to get out of the heat. Come up here to the upper uh, north side of Wisconsin. I'm sure up in Minnesota we didn't start there, but Wisconsin. Lake, uh, uh, Michigan, we're going to go across the upper peninsula here. We're going to keep right on trucking. Stop here a second. Yep, there's storyboard. I thought so. All right, let's stop.
Wow, is that nice here? Everything's so green. What's this one? Madeline Island. East of Madeline Island. You know, you see so much of the French history, British. Look at that dating clear back into 1693, 1700s. It just goes so far back around the lakes, Great Lakes, and how they crossed in all the boats. Wasn't that Maritime Museum pretty cool in uh, Bayfield? Make sure you check that video. All right, well, what do you say? Keep on trucking. Looks like the ocean, doesn't it? Just a massive body of water. There's a really good look how tree-lined all the roads are around here. That's why you really don't see much. There's a lot of people that live down in here, all kinds of homes. You just can't see them when you're driving down the road. A sea of trees, huh? <laughs> Pretty place. And just like that, we're right out of the trees. Look at this. <laughs> How'd you like to live up here? To me, it's gorgeous. The only thing I couldn't handle is how cold, brutal the winters are here. Those storms roll right off those uh, lakes. into Washburn when you go on uh, the maps Google Maps one of the first pictures you'll see if you type in Washburn uh, Wisconsin is this bank building up here and I just wanted to find it and check it here's town I got a car pushing me out. Let me let this guy go by. They're probably late for work. Bingo, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I see some building. There it is up here in the right. All right. Go up here, get parked. We'll check it out real quick. Small town, USA, right here. There's the building straight ahead. Wow, look at the rounded windows. This thing is just extremely well redone, preserved. Big old bank sign up there. Cultural Center and Museum. National Register Historic Places. Since 1991. This kind of architecture, you just don't see it. Well, we do on RV or TV because we look for it. All 
all these buildings look good. There you go, downtown Washburn, Wisconsin. We're here. Oh wow. Got that cli climbing ivy or whatever growing up the wall there. That shows the age. You don't see that. A little breeze picking up. Yeah, this building here looks pretty good too. Wait till we get down to Ashland. It's just a few miles. The whole route this morning is like 20 miles. Yeah, it takes a lot of years for that to grow all the way up to the roof. Oh, cool. Look at that painting on the side. Eighteen ninety six Washburn Harbor Town. I'm going to get my big shadow out of the way. Good sized town back then. That's what, hundred and 25 years ago. This shows you what went on way back. You don't think of that stuff. But it was real. Okay. Had to check this. What do you say? Let's uh, head on into Ashland. Quite a bit of more downtown. I didn't realize this big. I got plenty of fuel. We're good to go, all supplied up. Sure, I'm glad I came up here though. It's the weather's better. Scenic. Perfect summer trip. Okay, uh, down in Ashland, the town has. I don't know how many murals. Massive. They're like a block long. That's what I want to see. And I wanted to get there before all the traffic. Before all the cars start parking. And if I guessed right, we should have perfect timing. Sun will be coming up. But not a bunch of people down there. Because it's a weekday. It, it'll probably uh, get busy in a hurry. Up here, yeah, 13 continues on. Um, we're going to start trucking due east. Thirteen and two join together here. Another roundabout. <laughs> and we're almost into Ashland. All right, camera's going to go into the sun now a little bit. Sorry about that. But we're almost in town.
This is a big time harbor town now. Been over two years. I drove back through here from the east going west, and that was during uh, that pandemic. Everything was shut down, so really couldn't explore it much down here downtown. So this was high on the list to come back to. This whole area was. See, there's Mighty Lake Superior. I was always impressed with this area. And we are back. Yay. Okay, I cheated. We're going to cut up just a block to Main Street. And this should funnel us right. Uh, the historic part of downtown up here. Okay, here we go. To me, when I seen this uh, a couple years ago, it was like being transported back in time. You know, like back in the 40s and 50s. Wait till you see this up here. Okay, we're getting close. I spotted uh, a couple murals in that little park. Well, what do you say? We'll start at this end, walk around a little bit, and then we'll go up to the other end of town. And look at this, no cars. This is exactly why I come down here early before the town gets busy. You can almost do this in almost all small towns. Just gotta set that alarm get up a little bit earlier well here you go which one do you want to start at it's just incredible I don't know how many murals they have across this town in the size of them very unique. There's one that represents the older days, the older cars, what it was like. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Look at this. Stop and have a cold one. Scott and Owls. I've been here forever. Of course, we've got the flower baskets hanging. over I spot this little park I see another mural what's that one looks like lighthouse keepers the park benches are painted and the size of them and the quality Now, this is a place to be retired. Just come down here. <laughs> There's the water straight down the street. There's your harbor. 
but what a little garden right in the downtown area absolutely just plush huh We haven't even started yet. We'll drive the van down to the other end. That's where most of them are. Sun's coming up. Perfect timing. Different style buildings just stacked next to each other. It's like something out of the movies. It's a real town. People, all businesses, working. Uh, this looks like a good little place. about here look at the size of this thing that is one big painting and it's a painting of this town the people on the sidewalks I'm always impressed with murals anyway but there are so many here and of this size and detail. The entire length of that big building, which is what, half a block. Isn't that incredible? All the colors and everything. <laughs> okay. Keep on going. Just the size of the trees, you can show the age. Once again, straight down there, there's Lake Superior. You're right on Lake Big Time Harbor Town. Big boats probably come in here. windows are all fixed up it's clean now doesn't that look like that mural we just see <laughs> that's the real deal right there just different shapes through the decades whatever when they build a building each its own style but they're all connected all brick Again, is Ashland, Wisconsin. Head on down to the Bay Movie Theater. Most towns, they got the old movie theaters are all closed up. This one is still going. And 
and I'll bet you anything, go around the corner. Another massive mural, the entire length of the building. This one's about all the veterans, armed services. Even got stars up above the there, a lot of names. The painting continues on the doors. That's brick, that's gotta be hard to do. <laughs> cool. I spotted one across the street. Clothing store. Probably been in business forever. And their mural on their building is uh, ladies. Look at that, all the fashions. <laughs> Once again, just big size and detail. whole place could be a movie set, couldn't it? I bet Christmas time these guys really go for it too. All the decorations. Setting up your window displays. Even the trim around that little door is all painted colorful. And go around the corner. Bingo. All dated way back. Even across that air vent. Just continues right on. You don't even notice the vent hardly, huh? Well, let's keep on trucking. Here's this bank building. Like a fortress. Hey, hey, there's that van. Another van parked behind me. Look how the van takes up uh, that whole parking place. I bet within a half hour or so, people start trucking in uh, downtown here. Spinster, books, toys. A little bit of everything down here. And they're old, like local businesses. Support local business. <laughs> Ashland's probably a pretty good sized town. You know, we're not that far from the uh, Michigan state line. This is our last little stop in Wisconsin here. That one's all about harbors and fishing. Ore dock built 1916 by Foley Brothers. way back then.
Let me get a little closer. You can really see the detail in this. Looks lifelike, life size for sure. Maybe if you're a local, you get used to this, but to me, it just pops right out. I'll never forget a couple years ago when I drove through here, I couldn't believe it. They're everywhere. In their big old courthouse. All manicured up for the summer, mowed lawns. Flag's not up yet, so they're not open. This whole downtown is like an outside art gallery in museum. There's actually a museum downtown, but it won't be open this morning. Even the trash cans are all decked out. That has tile on it. <laughs> oh, we got, I think, another block to go yet. And we'll be down near, the, I think, the end of them. Here you go, old hotel. My goodness. The night hotel. Those walls could talk. Ashland High School. Old metal fire escape. It's a wonder they didn't paint that. to insurance company. That entire front is all painted. Well, we'll make our way down towards the van. But isn't this cool? Just about every kind of shop you can think of down here. What do they call it? That National Register of Historic Places? That'd be this entire downtown. <laughs> And very well done, very uh, brought back to life. Here's the Ashland Historical Museum. Yep, here's one of the plaques. 1920. 100 years. We did it. Got down here for all the cars and people because you couldn't see them. 
if it was all filled full of cars and trucks, it would have just been really hard to film and really capture just how massive, long, colorful those murals really are. And I didn't even hit all of them. I mean, there is so many more. We caught the ones we could find here. But if you're trucking through here, traveling, RVing, whatever, there's all kinds of RV parks and campgrounds. You got Lake Superior. But just that downtown alone is so unique. Had to film it. This was so high on the list if I ever got back up here, and I'm glad I did. We're heading to Michigan. We're going about 30 miles. We're going to be over in Ironwood, Michigan. I'm going to say so long, Wisconsin. What a pretty ride up here through the North Shore along Lake Superior. But it's time to head to Michigan. It's mid morning, about 10 o'clock. Kind of checked on the maps. It's supposed to be a really cool museum up here in Ironwood. Then from there, we're going to keep heading east. That was so cool, seeing all them old buildings down there in Ashland, Wisconsin. My goodness, and them big murals, all of it. That was one really cool stop, one to remember too. All right, let's keep on trucking. I had to stop, change of batteries in the cameras where we head into Ironwood. Look at this sign here, Iron Range, back in the 1800s, discovered all kinds of iron ore here. Wow, a huge area. Made this area really wealthy. Stocks went up 1,200%, then it all crashed in 1887. See, everywhere you go. Up here, there is just history upon history. Pretty cool. All right, well, just a quick little uh, pit stop. Had to put new batteries in before we head into town. We're not that much farther to the state line as well. Heat's kind of picking up. A little humid, too. Roadways around Wisconsin are just blessed with all kinds of roadside uh, areas to pull off. Wow, look at all the farmland. As far as you can see, but can you imagine all the iron ore activity? 80 mile stretch. Made a lot of people wealthy and then it all went away. <laughs> Pretty good road. I ran into quite a bit of road construction a few miles back. Wasn't worth filming, got too slow. Wow, there's a big farm.
All right, here we go. The state line is actually a river. It follows along a river between Wisconsin and Michigan. It's right there. At eight. There's actually another town. Two towns here. Ironwood and Hurley. And uh, the museum is actually in Ironwood. Farther up the road uh, tonight, I'm going to stay in an RV park, and we're going to head right back up north to Lake Superior. Okay, we are getting closer. Almost out of Wisconsin. Splits up here, rest area. Pretty sure we need to keep going uh, straight. Yep. Another roundabout. So, where's the state line? Oh, this has to be it here. This low bridge. Okay, here we go. We are now officially, yay, in Michigan. Right here's a rest area and visitor center. Let's stop, check it out. That way I can figure out where I gotta go to find that museum. And it looks open. Wow, this is a big park. Okay, well, what do you say? Take a little walk. Get a picture of the sign up here. Here comes an RV. I wonder if I change time zones here. Because I'm pretty sure Michigan is East Coast. I know in Wisconsin I was still, uh, what was it, Central time. I'll ask them inside. Hey, there's that white van again. Yeah, look at this place, like a big park. Definitely heating up here. We're quite a ways. We're several miles from Lake Superior. We're inland a few ways, so definitely tell the difference. Looks like a map over here. Well. Go on, check this first. Hi there. Hi. Something I can help you find? Oh, just looking what you got. Okay, feel free to help yourself. All of our information is free. What time zone are we in? You're currently in the central time. Still zone. central. When does it change? In 20 miles on M28 or 170 miles on US2. Okay. The four counties that border Wisconsin are central. The rest of the state is eastern. Okay. Okay, so I'm still central time, but I'll, I'll pick up east coast later today. These time changes are kind of messing with me this year. I don't know why. Hard to get used to. 
there's a map of Ironwood. She said I need to go downtown. I've got to go up about a mile up the road and then turn down into town. And that museum should be open by the time we get down there. And yes, upcoming videos, we're going to explore the entire Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Got some big plans. Oh, look, Copper Harbor. All kinds of cool stuff. Things that were closed two, three years ago when I drove through here, nothing was open. Well, what do you say? Want to go find that museum? Well, you could pull in here and probably spend the night. I don't think they let you like camp camp, but you could probably uh, get some quick shut eye. Huge park. Yeah, changing time zones. I don't know why this trip. Maybe it's because of the heat. Because, like, where I'm at in uh, Arizona, that's mountain time, Pacific time. Then here, before I know it, it's 6 o'clock at night. <laughs> Should only be, like, 3 or 4. Well... I'll get used to it. All right. We say we're going to cruise around Ironwood. There's also a Walmart here. I need to get supplies before I head out of town. Pretty busy town. Of course, it's almost what, 11 o'clock now. Highway 2, Business 2, to the right, sign says downtown, here we go. That's what the nice lady back there said to take. It should be about a half mile down. Old Town Ironwood. Then the museum's like an old train depot or something down here. Residential, a lot of houses, huh? They go back a ways. Old brick building right there. Cool. You always see flags flying in the little towns, isn't that nice? And flower baskets hanging off the poles. Oh, look at that. There's the guy watering them right there. Well, he does a real good job. Okay, I better pay attention where I'm going here. <laughs> There's the feed store. <laughs> I'd say we're getting here.
Yay, we made it. Okay, off to the right. There's the museum right there. Why don't we do this first? Let's do a loop around downtown and we'll come back. So, welcome to Ironwood, Michigan. kinds of shops, huh? Wow. A little bit of everything down here. Small business backbone of the U.S. Okay, I think I need to make a right. It's not very big. I'm kind of following the phone. I'm cheating. <laughs> Pretty good sized mirror on this building off to the right. Okay, make a right here. Yeah, this isn't near the size of Ashland. Another right, then we'll go find that museum. take a break from driving. There's another mural. A building uh, straight across. Look at that, a Ben Franklin. I haven't seen that name since I was a kid. Ben Franklin store. Where I grew up, they had one with a soda fountain. That's where you bought all your candy. <laughs> well, cool. Ironwood's a cool little town here. Okay, find this uh, museum. It's supposed to be the old train depot. Well, there it is off to the left. I think I should have pulled in there. Another little parking lot up here. This is a doctor's office. I goofed. And that's blocked off right there. Okay. Let me get turned around. We'll go back over. First time I got lost all morning. Your adventure starts here. Wow, they got big trails. Iron Bale Trail. All the flags are flying on the roof. What's this? Ooh, old picture. Historic Ironwood. Self guided tour. Looks pretty much the same map we've seen back at the rest area. Let's say it's open. Italians on the Iron Range. Oh, 
wow, they used this for their city hall for a long time. This is their public buildings. Who knows what they did down here, huh? Imagine the amount of people that came through here. Well, what do you say? Go on in. No charge to get in. Wow, those are cool looking. Actually, that's very well done painting. Lots of local history. Welcome to the museum. He said that walking thing, those trails are along railroad tracks, They're not, along, not along streets. Some of it is anyway. Look at that stained glass door. How old is this stained glass? You know, I think it dates to around the 1910s. Uh, it was part of the now demolished uh, Catholic high school here. It's beautiful. They sold the rest of it to some place in California. Yeah, figured. Oh, grandfather clock. Back in the day when this was actually a train depot, probably, huh? Moving all that ore. Little town, big history. See what else they got. Yeah, what workmanship in that glass. So 1910, that, that piece there is 100 and some years old, 110, 20. The old mercantile store. Old Amazon back in the day. Get your dry goods. What a cute little town. Old luggage back in the day from the travelers. A lot of these museums, they really rely on donations from the locals. Looks about logging. Got the oxen out there to haul the logs. Let's see what the calendar is. 1914, there you go. I'll be darn. More local history. That glare on that glass kind of hard to read through.
get the snow sled out with the horses that remind you where you're at. You know, you see weather outside like this. Father and son there. See weather like this, you'd forget about a couple feet of snow and below zero weather. Aerial view of town. Quite a few of the gemstones. You know, Lake Superior is full of gems on the beaches. Wow, look at them flowers hanging. We'll have to go out there too. More about logging. And the old guns. They always got to have the old guns. That was cool. Check out this old building. Everything's old around here, including me. <laughs> yeah, I want to see these flowers hanging out here. Almost looks like a beehive, doesn't it? Look at the bench. Wow. Now that is very unique. Yeah, what pretty colors. But smell good too. So big park here. Old town you can walk around. There's gotta be campgrounds around here somewhere. I'm gonna keep trucking once I hit the Walmart. I'm gonna head there here shortly. Keep heading east. zigzag our way back up to Highway 2. I wasn't even going to come down here. I was just going to drive right on through Ironwood. I'm kind of glad I stopped. Got to explore it. Small towns, back roads. In little museums like that, those things are priceless. I, a lot of it's local history. You don't really know the locals but just how they preserve it and save it it's important definitely worth coming here in those trails they're probably ATV trails you can uh, ride along the railroad tracks For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website or vrtv.tv. 
sign up for my free newsletter. I'm putting one out now on the 5th and 20th of each month. There I put in uh, low info about upcoming travels, what to expect in future videos, plus where I've been. And we're adding puzzles, downloadable puzzles now that are free. And I got a merch store. You can get coffee mugs, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of cool stuff. Which helps support the channel and this kind of travel. And I sure do appreciate it. Once again, it's rvertv.tv. Okay, get back here on Highway 2. Start trucking east. So we're going to do a few miles. We're going to end up tomorrow in a little town right on Lake Superior called Silver City. That'll be the goal and that'll start our trek across the upper peninsula of Michigan. Going to try to follow the water line as much as possible, the shoreline I should say. We're going to spend time, go through uh, some towns, all the way up Copper Harbor, and then when we drop back down we'll keep on trucking across the upper peninsula of Michigan. So, quite a few plans. I hope they all work out. You never know till you get on the road actually and start traveling. But we're here. Wisconsin was a cool state, but now we are in Michigan officially. Thank you for watching this once in a lifetime video all about Wisconsin and even a little bit of Michigan here. Be sure to check out all the other once in a lifetime videos on RVR TV from all over the country. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.